Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to do a short tag video that um, Susan, little poet, did. I think it was maybe a couple of weeks ago. I had listened to, I had actually watched her video, listened to the tag questions, and I thought, hmm, you know, maybe this is something that I might do. And then I kind of forgot about it. And, uh, and then I was watching a few other YouTube ladies, and I think the first one that I saw might have been Lisa pa Peaches Skin Care. I don't even know if I commented on it, but I saw her do the tag. I saw My Life with Wendy do the tag, and then I saw Clara, and Clara is Beauty with Age is 55. So those are the three that I saw do the tag, and there might be more of you that have done the tag, and I just, I can't remember, or I didn't watch, or whatever, but I will link the, the four channels, Susan's, Wendy, Clara, and Lisa Peaches Skincare. I'll link their videos below. But these are the tag questions, and I'm going to be looking down into the questions. Um, I haven't pre-answered them at all. So, but the tag questions that Susan came up with is Confessions of a Mature Woman. And she had Life Over 50. For me, it's going to be Life Over 60 because the first tag question says, How old are you and how old do you feel inside? So, I am 67. And I always get this question. Um, I have not had any work done. I've had no fillers, no Botox, no facelifts. I definitely could use a lift. I definitely have a problem with skin. I have jowls. I have a ton of wrinkles. And I have a lot of um, veins on my face, little red um, veins on my face. So I could use professional work, but I have not. So I'm 67. I, um, I'm fairly healthy. I do have a couple of bouts of dry eye going on that have been real, that has been bothersome. I've had some, you know, abscess teeth. I do have some uh, teeth issues, my lower teeth. So, you know, things that I think are more on the normal scope. But the next part of this is how old do you feel inside? I am fortunate that I feel younger inside than my age. I, uh, and I'm not too sure why I feel younger, but I do. I. I, I think because I do things that are typically more associated with younger people and I work with a lot of younger people and I train a lot of younger people, I'm very, very much in tuned to maybe younger people. <laughs> but to answer truthfully, there are times that I find it hard to believe that I'm over 50. I still sometimes feel like I'm in my 40s, I'm in my early 50s. I I can't say that I ever feel that I'm in my 30s. I'm so far removed from my 30s. But my early 50s, I don't I don't think at times I feel much older than that. So it's amazing to me. But yeah, I'm 67 and I I feel like inside that I'm in my 50s, what can I say? The next question is, what is the biggest change being over 55 has brought to your life? Do you have a new normal? So the biggest change over 67 um, has brought to my life, and do I have a new normal? Um, I really don't. I still work full time. I sell real estate. I do real estate training in New Hampshire. I have been a real estate professional for a number of years, 36 years now. So this is what I know how to do. This is what I've done forever and I still do it at 67. Uh, I, I think as long as I can go up and down stairs when I'm showing a home, go into the basement, go, you know, go up to the second floor and feel totally fit enough to do that, I will still do that. Um, and I, but I know some women, I think with real estate, it's common to be older you know, working longer, I guess. But I know some people that are my age or older, and if they can no longer go up the stairs, they kind of stay at the first floor and let people go up. But um, no, I think as long as I can maneuver the stairs, I'm fine. So I really haven't noticed much of a change uh, that it's brought to me other than new wrinkles, <laughs> more thinning hair, stuff like that. Um, do I have a new normal? I don't have a new normal because my new normal was adjusted due to COVID 
where I worked more from home via Zoom than going into the office, but we're, we're back in the office, so I really, I don't have a new normal. The next question, describe the roughest patch you have experienced in the last five years. Um, I'm filming this on Father's Day, and I, I woke up this morning and I thought of my dad. I think of my dad all the time. My father died last July 8th. I was with him when he passed. I held his hand as he left this earth. It was just me and him alone together. And I will always forget those last moments, those last hours I had with him. I do focus on trying to remember the happier things, the wonderful memories that we have. But without a doubt, um, being with my father and holding his hand as he died has been the hardest thing I've ever gone through without a doubt. Uh, I, you know, I am blessed to have my mother. I don't know what that's going to be like, but um, yes, losing my father almost a year ago. Do you try to look younger than you are? And is that important to you? So I have on, this is Raquel Welch, uh, Flirt Alert. And uh, this is, oh my God, um, I forgot the color. I have to look up the color. It is one of their most popular color. Is it shade of praline or something like that? Anyways, it's not a color I wear often because it's too light for me. So um, do I try to look younger? <laughs> I wouldn't say I super try extra hard to look younger, but I do try to look better. And if looking better can make me look younger, I'm all for it, baby. I'm all for it. I have no problems doing that. Uh, I know I'm aging, I see the evidence of aging, but I do try to look as best as I possibly can for my age. And it's nice if you look younger. I get told by a lot of people that I look younger when I tell them I'm 67, even in real life, never mind in, you know, on a video. Um, they, they find that sometimes hard to believe. But it is important to me to look as good as I possibly can. And I think with age, it has given me the confidence to experiment. Now, many of you are going to say, I don't like this look for you, Monica, and I may not like it when I play it back, but um, I'm experimenting. So, yeah. Does this hair age me or does it make me look younger? I'm still on the fence. I think the color ages me. I think the style makes me look younger. So, anyways, that's, that's that. Um... What is marriage or dating like for a mature woman? Hmm. I have been married almost all my life. Um, Jay and I have been married, I think we're going on 30 years. I was married for a real long time before Jay. So all my adult life, I have been a wife. I have been married to someone. I couldn't tell you the dating scene. I could tell you that if something happened, God forbid, with Jay and myself, um, or something happened to him or whatever, God forbid, I don't think I would ever want to get married again. And I don't think that I'd want to date. I think that I would just want to live my life independently, do what I want to do, you know, whenever I want to do it. Uh, being married, there are certain expectations that you have as a husband and certainly as a wife. I know I have expectations of him as he does of me. And, you know, I always say my jobs as a wife is all the pink jobs. That's motorhome lingo. Um, he does the blue, I do the pink. So the blue is all the outside stuff in our motorhome. He takes care of all the outside stuff. And the pink is all the inside stuff. And it's almost the same way in our home. I do a majority of the, you know, cleaning, um, the laundry, um, and not so much of the cooking anymore. He's done more of the cooking. And he's also picked up pace on the cleaning because I work away from the home. He works in the home. And I've always said, whoever is home first starts dinner. And that's how it is. So he has assumed a lot more pink jobs since he's still working mostly from home. And I'm working mostly away. I have assumed no blue jobs. No blue jobs at all. <laughs> I don't mow the lawn. I very rarely shovel the snow. Every now and then I might pull a weed. Every now and then I might do a rake job. But I... Do not do blue jobs. No, I do a lot of pink jobs. 
and I love it that my husband's starting to do some pink jobs too. What can I say? Um, let's see. Uh, number six. Mature women on YouTube. Are they supported by the public and do they inspire you? And how hard is it to handle the hateful comments? I do not believe that mature women on YouTube are supported by the public. I, I don't believe that. I think that I mean, certainly there are many, many mature women that have huge YouTube channels and have a ton of followers. And I can think of some wonderful creators that um, have a ton of followers, you know, that have over 100,000 subscribers or even, you know, over 50,000 subscribers. But maybe there's more than I can think of, but it's I can count them on my hands, you know, whereas the, the younger community... Um, and when I say that, to me, the younger community is probably 50 and under, you know, the 40s, the 30s. There's a ton more YouTube creators in that age bracket. And I think they are way, way more accepted. Um, they are more the norm for YouTube, as well as, of course, the real young creators, you know. So um, the, yeah, the below 50, the 55 and under maybe, they are definitely, I think, accepted. And, um, but I think, you know, you get into your 60s, into your 70s, although there are a few people in their 70s that I can think of um, that, that definitely um, inspire me. You know, um, Babs is one, I'll link her channel. And uh, there's, there's a few, and I'll pull them and I'll link them as I find them. But in general, I think my age bracket, not so much so. Hateful comments. Um, hateful comments and thumbs down. In the beginning, it used to bother me. I used to go, oh, what did I say wrong? Or, you know, or oh, they don't like my makeup, or they don't like this, or my nose is too big, my lips are crooked, I can't smile right, I, you know, whatever. Um, I, used to, I used to take it on myself. Now I don't. I just go... Okay, thank you for the thumbs down. Uh, half of the time I get thumbs down before the video even has time to play. So I know it's just randomly someone going through their stream. They see me, thumbs down. They're not even watching the video, but they give me a thumbs down. So I I don't care. I really don't care anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. And if people want to leave hateful comments, some of them automatically go in spam because of my filter that I have set up on YouTube. But I will delete a really hateful comment if there's swear words, um, if it's just what I think is a fly-by-night spammer. But if it's just a negative comment that could perhaps have been written a little bit better, I leave it up, you know, and I'll address it. I'll go, thank you so much for your opinion, and, you know, uh, thank you for watching, whatever. I try to... I try to be really nice. Um, there was an old saying, uh, know who your enemies are and kill them with kindness. I don't know who my enemy, I suspect I know who my enemies are. Let's put it that way. Uh, I'm not too sure if I kill them with kindness, but they're not going to get me to uh, jump into the fray and say things back. I'm just not going to do that. So yeah, there have been uh, a number of hateful comments. Number seven, what would be your most important piece of advice for a woman who is struggling with aging? Oh my gosh. I would, I would just say just, what is the alternative? What is the alternative? You know, the alternative is you're not aging because you are no longer here. So to me, I'd rather age and age gracefully. And, and I do call it anti-aging because I don't want to get any older looking than I am, but I know it's going to happen. Um, I respect and embrace anyone that loves aging. That's fine. That's up to them. But um, embrace the fact that you've lived your life, that you are aging, that you have crow's feet, that you have the signs of the life you've lived. Embrace that because the alternative stinks. You're below ground or whatever. The alternative totally stinks. I'd rather be here with you all than be food for worms or, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said that, but you know what I mean. So there are things you can do, I think, to slow that process down. Um, there's lots of different things you can do. So I think if you investigate, you know, things that you can do to help you age more gracefully, uh, I think the number one thing is making sure that you clean your skin super good, you exfoliate, you get all the dead old skin off. And you use a good serum, vitamin C, peptides, 
if you're going to be using Retin-A, use your Retin-A, but most importantly, sunblock, 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 a sunblock. That is super, super important. So um, embrace it, you know, embrace it. You are a woman. Um, you've lived your life. You have so much to contribute to the world. And I think you need to stop by respecting yourself. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Retired? <laughs> I hope. Um, I work in a business, though, where very few people actually retire. Um, well, there are some people that retire, and I do know that. So in the next five years, I see myself, my husband and I, I see myself perhaps working, but more on a part-time basis. And him, Tim, working as well. We both teach real estate courses, perhaps picking up more, more courses to teach, but part-time. I see us traveling more. I see us spending more time walking the beach. These are things that we love to do together now. and But I see us doing more of that in the next five years. I see my children happily settled. I have one son that's going through a divorce right now, and I have another son that has some health issues, but I see them happy. I see them conquering their battles. And I see my grandbabies thriving and blossoming and, and having a happy life. That's what I see. I also see my mother, who's 93 and looks amazing, by the way. I see her still in my life. I think my mother is going to live a good long time. And um, I see all that. So slowing down for sure, working more part-time hours, but being healthy enough to enjoy my life. I'll be in my mid, my five years from now, gosh, I'll be in my 70s. So I do think I'll be reviewing wigs. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, be doing these platform blonde looks or whatever, but I do see myself doing this. So anyways, um, that's that's the tag questions. I thought that was pretty cool. If you are a content creator and you're watching this and you haven't done Susan's tag, feel free. I'm going to post the tag questions in the comments right below. There's that little box below this video, the see more. You open it up, it'll drop down where I'll have a link to everyone's channel that's done this tag video. And, um, and again, you don't need to be tagged to do it. I wasn't. You know, I just did it. Um, but if you if you want to do it and you do do it, let me know you did it so that I can go over and, and watch it and support. I try to watch as many channels as I can, but it does become hard at times. And sometimes I found, wow, you know, I didn't leave a comment. And then it's like, you know, then I don't go back and do it. So, um, and then I know if you just leave an emoji, people don't like that. But sometimes when you're super busy, and you're watching, like for me, sometimes I'm on my phone. It's easier for me to, to leave a very short comment or an emoji than nothing. So, but anyways, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Please make sure you thumbs up the video. And, um, and I would love it if you shared my video with your friends and family. I would love my channel to grow. So five years from now, I hope my channel grows. It's been pretty stagnant for a while, and I blamed it on COVID, but it could actually be that maybe my content sucks. <laughs> I don't know. But um, anyways, so I would really love your support. Thank you. Bye, guys.